Chaitanya Charitamrita, Adi Lila, 12.9, Purport. One must judge every action by its result. The members of the self-appointed Acharya's party who occupied the property of the Gaudiya Mat are satisfied, but they could make no progress in preaching. Therefore, by the result of their actions, one should know that they are asar, or useless, whereas the success of the ISKCON party, the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, which strictly follows Guru and Goranga, is increasing daily all over the world. Srila Bhaktisiddhanta Sarasvati Thakur wanted to print as many books as possible and distribute them all over the world. We have tried our best in this connection and we are getting results beyond our expectations. Srila Prabhupada Lilamrita, Chapter 51 Conversation Rameshwar, they say that if we claim our members are gentlemen, then why is it that they go to the airport and bother so many people? Srila Prabhupada, they are not bothering, they are educating. When a thief is advised, kindly do not become a thief, he takes it as botheration, but it is good advice. Rameshwar, they say it is invasion of privacy. Every man has the right to think the way he wants. Prabhupada, yes, therefore, I have got the right to think like this and sell books. Rameshwar, so if I don't want to hear your philosophy, why do you impose it? Prabhupada, it is not imposing, it is good philosophy. We are canvassing, take it, you will be benefited. And they are being benefited. Those who are reading, they are being benefited. And why are you advertising big, big signboards, Please come and purchase. Hmm? Why are you imposing your so-called goodness on us? Why are you doing that? 1974, letter to Govinda. Therefore, this rumor that within a few years there will be police repression and people will have no more money to buy books and Sankirtan will stop is completely bogus. Whoever told you that is a rascal, saying it in my name. I never said that. Rather, Sankirtan movement will expand, continuing so long as we are sincere. When I came in the beginning, I began to expand it, and it is now going on, and there is no question of it stopping. Therefore, go on with your lifetime plans making secure and distributing books. There is no cessation. This movement is eternal. 1974, Letter to Rameshwar you have written to recommend Triparari for sannyasi. Triparari is, however, already a brahmachari, so in essence there is no difference. I have asked Triparari to dedicate his life to distributing my books, and he has turned out to be the most expert of all our sellers. It is certainly miraculous how he is distributing so many big books, even to people who are not interested in Vedic literature. If he takes sannyas, he may not be able to constantly assume so many disguises in public and employ so many tricks for selling books to persons, as it is not in accord with some of the etiquette for sannyas. Also, I have decided for the time being not to award sannyas order. You write that this recommendation is your own idea, and that he himself is perfectly happy heading up a traveling party of book distributors. So let him go on as he is doing. Krishna is giving him all facility, and without question, he is doing more than any sannyasi by his personally distributing hundreds of books day after day and inspiring other devotees. 1974 Letter to Nandalal The explanation given by Rameshwar that Sankirtan is Lord Chaitanya's Leela, which he compares to the gopis trying to engage others in Krishna's service, is the correct understanding. 1974 Letter to Tamil Krishna I was extremely pleased to hear your report from your traveling buses. It sounds as if your program is very, very wonderful, and I am very encouraged to hear that such a program is coming along so nicely. I am glad that you have understood the importance of my books, therefore I am stressing it so much. Let everyone take these books. If he simply reads one page, then he is getting something substantial, a real eternal benefit. 
Or if he hands it over to his friend and he reads one page, the same result is there. So continue these festivals constantly and make them all Krishna conscious. Overflood the whole country by this preaching work. Let the whole United States become Vaishnavs, then everyone else in the world will follow. That is my real ambition. Therefore, your program is very glorious. This is really preaching. Your intelligence is being properly utilized. 1974, letter to Rameshwar. Regarding the book distribution, somehow the distribution must be doubled and tripled as far as possible. Do it. 1974, letter to Rameshwar. Regarding sales figures, please endeavor in this way. The sales figures, this is the only solace in my life. When I hear that my books are selling so nicely, I become energetic like a young man. It is very good report that the printers are surprised at our sales figures. 1975, letter to Uttama Shloka. I read your Sankirtan newsletter with great relish. Europe and America are in great danger. This Hare Krishna movement is enveloping them. The Sankirtan devotees are very, very dear to Krishna. Because you are doing the field work of book distribution, Krishna has immediately recognized them as true servants. Just like during wartime, a farm boy or ordinary clerk who goes to fight for his country on the front immediately becomes a national hero for his sincere effort. So Krishna immediately recognizes a preacher of Krishna consciousness who takes all risks to deliver his message. 1976. Letter to Rameshwar. The book distribution in Los Angeles during the six-day period is transcendental samadhi. They are working in trance, not on the material platform. No common man can work so hard, it is not possible. Working without sleep means no death. Sleeping is dead condition. Jeev Jago, Jeev Jago, Gora Chandra Bole, Kota Nidra, Jao Maya, Pisha Chira Kole. Your book distribution is really intoxication. 1976, letter to Rameshwar. We should not distribute anyone else's books except our own. 1976 Letter to Puranjana These books are the life of human society. Others may be disturbed, but they cannot disturb the Srimad Bhagavatam. Let any man come, but here they cannot touch. We are putting these books for deliberation before the topmost thinkers of human society. Therefore, I have to see that in all languages, all of our books are published. If we strain, and if he takes one book home, someday people will come to understand what valuable knowledge they have received. It is transcendental literature. Nobody can challenge it. It is done so nicely, without any spot, the spotless Purana. Please continue like this to print books in all the languages for the benefit of suffering, misdirected humanity. 1975, letter to Jagadatri, Pushapati, Sailogata, and Pamela. Regarding the problem of how to be aggressive on Sankirtan and submissive in the temple, my request to you is that you should go on being aggressive on Sankirtan. I myself was aggressive in coming to your country. No one invited me. Even you boys and girls did not invite me. But I came and I preached aggressively and therefore you are now my disciples. So now you well know that you have to approach the men and women of your country. And it may appear superficially that you have to disturb them. They are doing their business peacefully and you come and disturb them. Please take this Krishna book. Of course, it is good that you are concerned about being chaste, shy and submissive amongst your godbrothers. Chanyakya Pandit said that every man should see all other women as mothers and similarly, a woman should see all men as son. So what is your difficulty? If you are completely aggressive on Sankirtan, 
there should be no material aggressiveness and pride remaining. You have to distinguish between devotees and non-devotees. Aggression for the cause of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is pure. If you become completely absorbed in such aggression to spread Sankirtan movement, there will be no question of wanting to lord it over in the temple. Preaching purifies us of these material tendencies for sense gratification. It is simply a matter of time that you will see this. Do not worry. Krishna will help you. 1976, letter to Yashomati Nandan. Now you have also received shipment of books, so distribute my books profusely. This distribution is the greatest welfare work for humanity. 1976, letter to the Radha Damodar Traveling Sankirtan Party. I was very pleased to see how you were working so hard last year to distribute so many books. There is no instance of religious books of philosophy being distributed in such magnitude in history. Now go on enthusiastically and increase this book distribution unlimitedly. 1976, letter to Rameshwar. The results show that there is no limit to our book distribution. Our books are qualified to be distributed unlimitedly. We are not fiction writers. It is a fact that no expert book salesman can compete with our men. The librarian has noted the difference between our men and other publishers' men. We are working for heart and soul, not for money. 1976, letter to Mahatma. The enthusiasm of the devotees is a very good sign. The more they become enthused and anxious to preach, the more they become Krishna conscious. Yaidam paramam guhyam mad bhakti shavibhidasyati nachatasman manusyeshu kaschin me priyakritama. One who explains the supreme secret to the devotees is the most dear to Krishna, and never will there be one more dear. So always keep them enthused in this book distribution. This pleases me very much.